Hey, this is Chris Glein from Rochester School of Guitar, and today is another guitar snack number two, proper muting technique on chords. Okay, there are two principles to keep in mind. One, when you play chords, you should be able to whack the guitar and not care if you're going to hit other strings. You shouldn't have to be timid and try to just aim for two. If you're trying to aim, you, that's not going to hold up in a live performance context. You gotta do something else, okay? The second principle is that muting is usually almost always done by the first finger, okay? We can do some stuff on the right hand too, but traditionally, the first finger is commonly used in most basic chord shapes for muting. Of course, excluding open chords because there's not really muting we're doing there, right? So let's go ahead and discuss how this is done. If you take a power chord and we put it on five, seven, seven, Okay, starting from the A string. First finger, fifth fret of the A, third finger, seventh fret of the D, fourth finger, seventh fret of the G. Okay, if I whack this guitar, I am not gonna get any extra sound. I guarantee you, okay, it will always be muted. Bottom string's muted, top muted. The first finger is touching the low E string. It is not overlapping it, I'm not going over it, I'm literally just topping, touching the top of it. This part of my finger is pinching that power chord. Okay? And the rest of the finger is relaxed on top of the strings to be at the top. You can do the same thing with bar chords when you're on the East You should just be able to whack the guitar. That's the problem. Okay? So no aiming. Of course, there are some exceptions to that where you don't really have time to discuss all that at the moment, but if you keep these concepts in mind and you apply them to the basic chord shapes you do know, then you should be able to mute with no problem. A couple other possibilities for muting. If you're playing D, you can use your thumb over the neck. If your thumb's big enough, those of you with short fingers, it's not gonna work, right? So you're gonna have to find a different way around that. And that's basically muting technique for most chord shapes. Of course, like I said, there are some exceptions to this rule. But if you can follow and try to get the first finger to do most of the muting and just allow yourself to whack the guitar, figure out where it doesn't work, then I guarantee you, you will have some solid chord playing that will not bleed. So, if you enjoyed this, feel free to give this a like. If you want to leave a comment or you disagree about a certain subject, feel free to comment below. Other than that, this is Guitar Snack 2, Guitar Muting Technique.